Hi, I'm Dominic from MexicanDIY.com. In this video, I'm going to show you all about a sump pump and how the sump pump for a basement really works with keeping the whole basement nice and dry. Not even a drop of water on the basement floor. But I'm going to show you what the sump pump really does. Now, here's our basement, which is nice and dry. As you can see, the floor is nice and dry, not a drop of water on it. Let's go over to the pump. Now, this is a pump just made into a hole dug right out of the concrete and the pump sitting right in there. Nothing else, nothing more. But now, look at all that water coming in. If you look here, this is the basement floor, about four inches thick. And all we did was cut a hole into the floor and then further down. And of course, this is a piece of plastic, which was the vapor barrier. Then you have your stone right here. And the stone is what all this concrete sits on. But we dug it out as we want to make the hole nice and deep. Look at that water coming in. I mean, right now, the pump is pumping that water out as soon as it gets here. But this particular basement floor is about 28 feet by 50 feet. And you figure you got at least four inches of stone right there. What the water does, it fills in all around the stone, just like it would on you know anywhere else. And that's it really it calculates the thousands and thousands of gallons of water that you don't see above this line which is, again, the basement floor. Now, if this pump wasn't working right now, we would have a serious flooding problem. But this should show you, and this water's coming in pretty good. I have it set on manual. I'm going to turn the pump off. Watch how fast this water fills up in here, huh? Look at that. You see that? The water fills up pretty good. We want to go ahead and turn that pump on because what we don't want to have, we don't want to have this water come up above this line. Once it comes up above this floor, well, then it's all over with. It would just take about three minutes to flood this basement out. Then we have to start all over again and dry the floor and so forth. All right, well, I got the pump back on. You can see it's pumping. Water's moving to the pump. Now, you know, I got a pump this size. This pump here is doing 2,000 gallons an hour. So for every hour this pump is on, it's 2,000 gallons that it is piping right out. Now this particular pump is just sitting in a nice, uh, you know, it's a dirty but clean hole. And going up, as you can see, nice pipe. And then it just turns and goes right outside the house. Pretty, um, and of course, plugged into an outlet, which in this case is a GFI outlet, which is about four feet high, because what you don't want to do is have the cord down low to where the water can get it wet and trip a breaker or a CFI outlet, and then you might as well not have the pump. All right, well, in this video, we didn't show you how to install the pump, but we showed you what it looks like after, and really what it's all about, how it works, how it collects all that water. Because right now it's raining pretty good outside and has been for quite a while. And all that water from the outside is filtering down these walls and all the walls all the way around. And the water's got to go somewhere. So what it's going to do first is going to fill up that bottom layer, all that stone. It's going to fill that up, which is going to be thousands and thousands of gallons. Well, once that fills up and it has nowhere else to go, well, it can't go back up the way it came because that's just way too much pressure. So any hole, crack, no matter how new your house is, this house is only like four years old. It's all poured foundation, so everything's pretty sealed. It's all tarred around, which is great because that didn't allow the water to come. Th didn't allow the water to come through the walls, but unfortunately, it either popped the house right out of the foundation, or it's going to find any little crack. And you know this little cracks around so it would have found out that would have came through with great pressure so by making that hole in the floor and putting a pump about a foot deep really worked out pretty good uh, I'm Dominic from MaxMeDIY.com thanks for watching